In this video, you are going to discover the new animation feature of Artboard Studio. We believe this addition will be a game changer for you. Creating motion graphics or editing videos never been easier and intuitive. First, let's talk about the Timeline Editor. Go to the bottom of left toolbar, you will see Timeline icon here. This icon expands or collapses the Timeline Editor section. For creating animations, you have to have an artboard. First, create an artboard in any size or anywhere in your infinite canvas. As you see, the timeline icons became active. Now you can put objects inside this artboard and start making animations. When you select the object in your artboard, now you can enable the animation mode from this record button. The title of the artboard turned into red and this means you are ready to create keyframes. Also, some inputs on the right sidebar now has keyframe icons next to their values. You can hover and see which input is which. Then press keyframe icon. Now you have created your first keyframe. If you expand the timeline editor, you will see this shape layer has a layer also inside the timeline. You can expand this layer from the little arrow icon and see your keyframes. Now move the playhead and create another keyframe. You can use the right sidebar inputs again or make your changes directly on the artboard. As you see, the moment I moved the shape to somewhere else, it automatically created the second keyframe for me on the time that I moved the playhead. Now you can select this keyframe and move in timeline. Longer distances between keyframes means slower animations, shorter distance means faster animation. Now, let's see what we have created. Click on the play icon to preview your animation. Also, you can enable loop mode. You can change the duration of this video from the timer. Click on the timer and you will see several other options. The current input shows the exact keyframe of your playhead. The duration input shows the time of your entire video. You can change the time here and define how long is your animation going to be when you render. The FPS input shows you the frame per seconds. You can make it up to 60 to render smooth animations. Or you can make it lower than 30 to make your video size lower. Now, when you play the animation, you will realize that the motion is too flat. For making smoother animations, you can try different ease options. When you select the keyframe, you will see the easing options on the right sidebar. You can open the drop down menu and choose any easing option from here. Let's choose the cubic and preview the animation. Now my animation going from left to right smoother. You can also select the main layer in Timeline Editor and apply the same ease option to all of your keyframes. After you finish your motion design, you can stop the recording from the red record button. Now you are in design and animation mode combined because you have an animated object in your canvas but you can still make changes without adding new keyframes. For example, you can change the color of this shape without touching the animation. You can also change the position, but because you already have keyframes for left position, you can only move up or down without keyframes, or you can scale up or down. If you want to add new keyframes, you need to press record icon to create new keyframes. Now if you scale, as you see, automatically generated keyframes for width and height, because the animation mode is active. Let's export this animation as a video file. For that, select the artboard and go to export section on the right sidebar. Go to video section and choose your format. You can also set your FPS here. Then hit the export video button and wait for the render to be finished. We are using your computer for rendering. This means that if you have a good RAM and CPU configuration, you will get faster exports. The best part of this, you don't need to wait for any email or server rendering queue like any other browser-based video editing apps. All the rendering process happening in your computer. This was just the beginning of animation in Artboard Studio. The best part of it, you can create keyframes from the values. This gives you unlimited options to create amazing motion designs. So, while I am speaking, you already have seen what is possible. Now it is your turn, sky is the limit, make amazing motion designs now.